Hi, I'm Brandon Olin, and welcome to FCPS Impact, which highlights students making a difference in their school communities. Way back in January, our friends at Governor Thomas Johnson High shared a tweet about Peyton Buckley, a first-time polar bear plunger who was one of the top individual fundraisers for Special Olympics Maryland. That's the true definition of making an impact. When we spoke to Peyton's friends and family, we realized her impact goes far beyond fundraising. No matter what time of year Peyton is active in high school athletics, she is someone everyone at TJ can count on. But don't take my word for it. Here's a look at our visit to TJ to surprise Peyton as our FCPS impact recipient. Peyton is a very, very outgoing individual. She comes off very shy and quiet at first, and then she just lightens up the room. So the more and more you're around her, the more you want to be around her. She is just an amazing girl. She's very shy, but she's very confident at what she does, and she just loves to be included and participate in anything that is um, given the opportunity to. Peyton is one of the most beautiful people I've had the opportunity to meet in a number of years because her inner goodness and her inner intentions are so genuine to help others. And even though she may not be able to articulate that as you and I would, she does it through her actions and she does it through her service. And for Peyton and her special needs, um, being part of the, the team here at TJ um, has just really opened up a lot of doors for her. Uh, I have a lot of friends that have started participating in the unified sports, just getting to know Peyton. A lot of my closest friends, you know, they get to know her. Not many people know her, she doesn't say much. So once they get to know her, they see like they can have an impact on her life. And by doing the unified sports, it allows them to have impact on other people's lives. She just brings that positivity to every team. So even when you're having like that down day or that down moment, or you know, a game's not going the way you want it to, she's the first person that wants to be out on the field. Inner beauty and inner light isn't always spoken and it's not always verbal. Um, sometimes it can be done in act and it can be done in deed. And it reminds us that even our students that, you know, have challenges, find ways to give back to their community, they find ways to impact the students around them and they do it through a natural beauty. She never lets anything hold her back. She's a part of multiple sports teams. She's all throughout our classes here at TJ. She's down in the gym all the time with me and different, she's in strength training, team sports volleyball. So she's always pushing herself to achieve more. And I think that at, as a school like TJ with the di diversity that we have, I think everybody just loves being around her and she's she's very very funny. When the state came up and recognized us you know it was at that moment that I realized you know our community truly embraces this because the students they are a true part of our culture. This is her first year for doing the plunge so uh, we're really excited to uh, be part of it. First of all I was so happy to be going in water that was not sub-zero degrees in January or February and to actually be able to jump in the water in March. <laughs> It was a huge sell for me. I am a beach girl in the appropriate weather. <laughs> but to be able to hold Peyton's hand and to do that um, and to have that experience and just be a part of that moment with her, um, it, it was, you know, I'll put it in my top 10 for this year. Hello, I'm here at Governor Thomas Johnson High School this morning to honor one of TJ's students, Miss Peyton Buckley, who has done exceptional work in raising money for the Polar Plunge, which occurs next week. We are very, very excited to celebrate her and honor her for her tremendous work over the past year. Good morning, Peyton. I'm Mike Marco, Interim Superintendent. How are you today? We are so very proud of your efforts through the Polar Plunge to raise funds for the Special Olympics. So tell me a little bit, what motivated you to pursue this goal? Um, my teachers. Your teachers motivated you. Wonderful. And how long have you been doing this? This is my first time doing it. Your very first time, and you're a success right out of the gate. How does it feel to know that people are recognizing your efforts today? Great. Feels really good, doesn't it? Some hard work paying off for a lot of people right now, all because of you, right? And when you're done with school, what are some things you'd like to do? To help people. Help people? That is a wonderful, wonderful goal. So we are so pleased to present this to you today, Peyton, from, from us, just to honor you for your 
amazing work over the past year and we encourage you to just continue to move forward and do great things for not only this community but the broader community if anybody can do it it's you so congratulations congratulations and we are all so very proud of you you go girl i'm proud of you she's a great example as a reflection on tj students and uh i have nothing but good words to say about Peyton. Congrats to Peyton, who successfully completed the Polar Bear Plunge along with so many in Frederick County. Thanks for watching Impact. Check back to see who we visit next. If you know anyone at your school that is an outstanding student leader, be sure to nominate them by going to our website, fcps.org impact.